Glory to God. Hallelujah. Sunday morning worship, nothing like it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, my goodness, we miss you, church family. What a glorious day it is. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Say it with me. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. We are covered by the blood of God our Father. Amen. We are covered for all of eternity, sealed by his Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. What a glorious day. Amen. Say it with me. Today, today is the day of salvation. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I rejoice with all the souls right now, with all the souls right now that are just saying, forgive me, Father. Amen. I need you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, Father God, this, is, this world is crazy. This, I want nothing to do with it. I want to be home with you, Father God. Hallelujah. I want to be home, Father. Amen. And glory to God, that trumpet's going to come real soon. Amen. We're going to hear it real soon. And in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, we'll be standing before our perfect Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. What a glorious day that will be. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. We have an action-packed Sunday morning worship service for you. Praise God. And when I say we, it's hallelujah, agape. Say it with me. Agape. Praise God. Give somebody a high five. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. If you're by yourself, do like I do. Amen. Praise God. Listen, I mean, even though I'm physically by myself in this building, I know that we're one in spirit. Hallelujah. I know that all his angels are around us, around your house, your family. Amen. Children, grandchildren, praise God, cousins, aunties, uncles, amen. Even the disobedient ones, hallelujah, that we are lifting up, praise the Lord. Listen, God won't let them go. God's going to get them. Hallelujah. Give God praise for that, amen. God's going to get them, amen. So let's not be discouraged by what something looks like or how someone's acting. Can I get an amen? Let's not limit God on those circumstances. That, that's, we rebuke all that in Jesus' name, amen. That's earthly things, hallelujah. Remember, we don't take God into our level. We trust. Say that word with me, trust. Hallelujah. We trust Lord Jesus Christ. And forgive us, Father God, if we hurt you in any way. Amen. Our worship service this morning is titled, What's Your Point? Amen. I'm going to need your help now at home. And I know this sounds goofy, but I'll know you do it because Lord Jesus Christ is right there. Amen. He is right there wherever you're at. Amen. He is alive and here. Glory to God, and the Word of God says where two or more are gathered, He's right there in your midst, amen? And so I say this to you because I need your help, praise God, I need your help, that every time I say this in the worship service, you know it's been a while since we did this, amen? And we have to be obedient, the Holy Spirit's so sweet, because He wants to hear this. When I say, <laughs> what's your point? When I say, what's your point? Right, because that's the question, what's your point? What's your point? I ask you in the name of Jesus Christ to say, let me finish. Amen? Let me finish. Praise God. So let's just practice that real quick. Listen, we have a lot to go through, so I'm going to need your prayer here in a moment. Praise God. I know many of you are like, well, what's new? Hallelujah. Listen, he's the only teacher. It's all Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Everything good and perfect is our Father. Hallelujah. Everything good and perfect. Amen? Let's practice. So what's your point? Let me finish. Amen. Let me finish. Praise God. What's your point? <laughs> Let me finish. Praise God. Hallelujah. The funny thing is, I laugh, I chuckle because I have no idea. Amen. I just worship like you. Hallelujah. I'm a beloved child of God, just like you are. Amen. Is Jesus Christ your Lord? Hallelujah. Jesus Christ your Lord. Amen. Say it with me. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Say it with me. Holy Spirit, bless us. Amen. Holy Spirit, bless us. Hallelujah. So I'm just so thankful. Praise God. So these are the books that we're going to get into. We're going to put it up on your screens if you want to take notes or just pause it. <laughs> just pause the video and you could, you could write down the books that we're going to be into. But we're going to be in the book of wisdom. I know the Bible front to back is wisdom. Amen. Because it's Holy Spirit. Say his name, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. There was an ultimate price to be paid. And Lord Jesus Christ done did it in perfection. Can I get an Amen. And the reason why he came is so that Holy Spirit can live in you and in me. Glory to God that we have his peace. Hallelujah, that we have his gospel. Amen, amen. Hallelujah, good news, hallelujah. Woo, good news, remember, good news, right? We don't sit there like, good news is, right? Praise God, oh, good news. 
And it just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen? So we're going to be in the book of wisdom in Ecclesiastes 4, verses 1 to 2. And that's how we're going to open to set the groundwork as far as going into the gospel of John. And uh, get ready. Amen? We're going to be Matthew 27, verse 51, Ephesians 4, verse 30, John 14, verses 15 and 16. And we're going to close in Philippians 1, verse 5. Amen? Are you ready? Hallelujah. I am ready. Praise God. I am ready to get out of here. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, I cannot wait in Jesus' name. Oh, my goodness. And I know who I'm talking to. I just want to say thank you so much again for your heart of worship. Hallelujah. I just want to say thank you so much for blessing Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Allowing agape to just shine through you and your family. Amen. Just being a blessing. Hallelujah. Above all, being a blessing to God Almighty first, amen, and allowing agape to overflow unto your husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, your, your children, your animals, you know, whatever it is, but he will overflow, amen, because God cannot be stopped. Hallelujah. Woo, hallelujah. Pray for me, hallelujah. Let's pray. Father, as I plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you so much, Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord. That in these most intimate times right now that you are blessing us with, Father, that we cannot even comprehend or understand, we trust in you, Lord. And Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you so much that you saved us. Thank you for your salvation. Thank you, Father God, for your spirit. Holy Spirit, we bless you. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you, Father God, that we are a part of your body for all of eternity. We are members of your body. And thank you so much, Father God, that you have sealed us. That Holy Spirit, you know us by name. And Holy Spirit, as I plead your blood, I thank you. That in the mighty name above every name, Lord Jesus Christ, you give us the power and anointing to bind up every demonic principality. And it's only through your blood, Lord Jesus Christ. And Heavenly Father, thank you that as you bind that up, we now have ears to hear your word, Father. And Lord Jesus Christ, for you are the word of God, and as you speak the word, Heavenly Father, through your spirit, Holy Spirit, who is in us, Holy Spirit, I thank you that you loose a fresh anointing from heaven. Every gift that my Lord Jesus Christ paid for, I just thank you, Father. You're our only teacher, Holy Spirit. We go through no one other than you, Lord Jesus Christ. You are the only one, Lord, and you are worthy. You are worthy for all of eternity. Hallelujah, that we just surrender and submit. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Worthy is the perfect Lamb of God who was slain. And we ask all this, and thank you, Father, in Jesus Christ's name, and all God's beloved said, hallelujah, amen, praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Give yourself a high five, praise God. Give somebody next to you a high five, praise God. And give an angel a high five, hallelujah. Yes, praise God. All the angels are doing work, amen. Praise God. Do you not want your angels doing work? Watch this. Okay. <laughs> You're like, yeah, well, my angels are going to praise God. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory to God that all his angels, all of heaven right now is fighting for you. Fighting for us, amen. For we are the body of Lord Jesus Christ. We are anointed of Holy Spirit. We are his light shining. Amen. And glory to God. As the angels see God's light shining through his beloved church. Amen. Guess where they're at? Around the light. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I'm just so thankful that in Jesus' name we are victorious. Amen. Let's get started. Hallelujah. I know many of you are like, come on, Brother Joey. Praise God. It's all Holy Spirit. Amen. Say with me. I rebuke you, Joey. I rebuke you, Joey. It has nothing to do with me. I am a worshiper of Lord Jesus Christ. And I surrender, Father God. Rebuke my pride. That it's all for your glory. I'm not worthy, Father. But Lord Jesus Christ, you are worthy. And Father God, I said yes. In this moment in time, I said yes, Father. To worship you. Use me as a mouthpiece. Say it with me, Holy Spirit, teach us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. In Ecclesiastes, in the book of wisdom, reads this again i looked and saw all the oppression that was taking place under the sun i saw the tears of the oppressed now real quickly we have to address this okay oppressed oppression is not the same thing as possessed or possession and this is what holy spirit wanted 
as far as just to bring clarity and order in this message in what he is teaching through his anointing. Amen? Oppression. We're going to go over oppression real quick. Mental pressure or distress. Her mood had initially been alarm and a sense of oppression. It's when this heaviness comes based on thoughts. The thoughts try to take control, right, over the temple, over the soul, whether it was from the past, right, or maybe present, or maybe it's just worry and anxiety of the future, right? Those things brought oppression on that soul. Possession, an item or property, right, something belonging to one. Okay, so we see the difference right off the bat with oppression and possession because possession means that you belong. Say that word with me, belong, right? We belong, hallelujah, to Lord Jesus Christ, amen? We belong to agape, hallelujah. Say it with me, I am the property of Father God, hallelujah. I am covered by the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, amen? I am a temple of Holy Spirit. Whoa, hallelujah. Glory to God, amen. This is who I am. Amen, say it with me, I am. Praise God. Next, oppressed. Subject to harsh and authoritarian, yeah, you get it, treatment. Authoritarian, whoo, authoritarian treatment. My goodness, right? So when you're oppressed, you're subjected to some kind of thing that has some kind of authority which backs up earlier what we said as far as with mental pressure or distress coming from oppression, right? It's those thoughts, right? So if you allow those things to take authority, then guess what happens? You become oppressed. Now let's go into possessed. Possessed of a person completely controlled by an evil spirit, okay? We're gonna pause right here real quick. I get this question asked a lot and we're just gonna clear it out in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, amen? If you have received Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, you cannot be possessed. Can I get a hallelujah? Amen. Let's just give God praise right there. Amen. You know why? Because Satan himself cannot take any real estate on the property of God. Amen. When God's blood, Lord Jesus Christ, when God's blood is, oh, come on now. Amen. It's his. Nothing can touch it. Nothing can come against it in Jesus' name. Amen? Now, this plot of the enemy is distractions, right? Distractions. And hoping, the enemy hopes that we give him our God-purchased identity. We give him power, right? So possessed is being possessed by an evil spirit. How can you be possessed by an evil spirit? You don't have Jesus Christ as Lord. Straight up. Amen. Beloved church friend, there's no if, ands, or buts about that. If you do not have Jesus Christ as Lord, you are possessed by the devil. Pastor, how, how can you say that? I know this person who don't have Lord Jesus, but they're a very good person. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They're possessed. Remember, it's either life or death, right? It's either Jesus or Satan, right? Good, bad. There's no in-between. Amen? So we see the difference right away from oppressed and possessed. One more. Oppressing caused someone to feel distressed, anxious, worried, or uncomfortable. Right? Possessing of a demon or spirits, especially an evil one, have complete power over someone and be manifested through their speech or actions. Can I get an Amen. We put all this up here because I get this question asked a lot. Well, Brother Joey, I struggle with this and I think that I'm possessed. Is Jesus Christ your Lord? Yes, Jesus Christ is my Lord. Have you confessed him as Lord and Savior over your life? Yes, I have. Have you asked Holy Spirit to bless you with his anointing? Have you asked him? Sometimes, and, and I'll tell you right now, many times a lot of people say, Oh, no, I haven't really done that. Ask him, right? Ask him. But the bottom line is, if Jesus Christ is your Lord, that demon cannot take up the temple of God. No. The oppression can come. Say that word with me. Oppression. And what is that oppression? It's the distractions from a demon. 
And guess what? As a child of God, you can meditate in those distractions and be fooled and deceived by the evil one, thinking that you are a byproduct of those distractions, which you are not. You are a product of grace. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Say with me, I am a product of grace. Who is grace? Hallelujah. You beat me to it. Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit lives in you and me. And the only way to get it, you beat me to it. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Praise God. Now let's get started. Praise God. So once again, saw all this oppression. I saw all the all the oppression taking place, and I saw the fears of the oppressed, amen? Because once again, when it manifests, right? When the oppression comes, when the worry comes, right? When the doubt comes, when this coronavirus, right, took place, right? How did the world act? See, we are children of God covered by his blood. Remember, when you anoint yourself, right? When you declare Jesus Christ as Lord, God himself covered you with his blood. What does that mean? What does that signify, right? What does the Bible tell us? What does Holy Spirit say in every breath? That because you are God's property, you are his beloved child, the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, protects you, seals you. Glory to God, hallelujah. That means everything foul, garbage, has to pass over in Jesus' name. Ooh, hallelujah. And they have, check this out, we're going to continue on, and they have no comforter, Power was on the side of their oppressor. And they have, say that word with me, no comforter. So when there is no comforter, when there is no blood of God, when there is no sacrifice, who is our perfect sacrifice? And I said perfect. Hallelujah, you beat me. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ is our sacrifice, our Lord, our Savior. Hallelujah. He is the perfect sacrifice that was provided by God Almighty, God himself. Thank you, Lord. And because you received him freely, Holy Spirit says, mine, right? From the Father, Holy Spirit now resides, dwells, lives in you abundantly through you and through me, amen? For all of eternity, he is our seal now, amen? So the oppressed has no comforter, and this is the condition that everything was in. It goes on here in verse 2 saying this, and I declared that the dead who had already died are happier than the living who are still alive. But better than both is the one who has never been born, who has not seen the evil that is done under the sun. Glory to God. This was a hard message to put together because many of you know, Trish and I, we have a, praise God, we have a daughter in heaven, hallelujah, in perfection, amen. She don't know any different, praise God. And right away, as, as Holy Spirit put this message together, of course, my thought went there. But glory to God in the past where that thought would have brought oppression of, the, you know, being depressed, sad, right, and all that stuff. The thought brought rejoicing. Hallelujah. The thought brought, oh, that trumpet's going to go off and I'm going to see her again. Right? I'm going to see her one day. Hallelujah. And I'm going to see all my loved ones. Amen. We're going to know everybody. Praise the Lord. And I'm just so excited about that. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What's your point? Let me finish. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> there are three gifts Father God gave us. Amen. I'm going to put up these three gifts and we're going to separate those three gifts right there. Can I get an amen? The three gifts are, and we're going to start with one, himself. Right? From the beginning of creation, God gave himself. Amen? And I love that little gift box. It just brings it home. This is what God wanted. Amen? And we're just being obedient. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. Say it with me. Be obedient. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And so God gave himself. Amen? Now we got to understand these three gifts. That's why we separate in three categories right here. Praise God. It's the Old Covenant, Old Testament. And that first gift right there. We're going to just put this down right there. Say it with me, soul. God poured out his soul. Amen. The second gift is in the Old Covenant, but it's also in the New Testament. And then the third gift is from the New Covenant, New Testament. Amen. So let's just say this, praise God, to bless Lord Jesus Christ. And for the anointing Holy Spirit to flow through us to renew our mind. Amen. 
Praise God. Do you give God permission to re renew your mind? Amen. Do you allow Holy Spirit to flow through you? Bless you with life-changing revelation, power from on high. Amen. That Lord Jesus Christ wants to pour out over his body because we are the body. Amen. How many of you agree that Lord Jesus Christ, seated at the throne of God, come on now, is in perfection, all power, all authority, amen? You agree? Hallelujah. I know you do. Some of you raising your hands right now. I agree in Jesus' name. My God, my Lord Jesus Christ is perfect. All the authority in heaven, on earth, hallelujah, is all his, amen? In Jesus' name. So the question is, is what did we do with this soul, right? This gift that God gave us in the Old Covenant, Old Testament, what did we do? Because God poured out his soul. We learned his very character. We learned as far as what he doesn't like, what he does like, right? Come on now, family. Help me out. Help me out, please, right? Don't we know this all the way up to the beginning of the New Testament, how God just poured himself, poured himself, right? Mercy upon mercy, right? Amen? What did we do with God? Well, we got this picture coming up. Amen? Now, this is the thing where I beg you with all my heart to rebuke any kind of pride. Don't let the enemy fool or deceive you thinking that, well, I didn't do that. You did. I did. It doesn't matter if you think you were saved when you were a little bitty. Amen? We all fall short of the glory of God. Ain't nobody perfect. Can I get an amen? Only one is perfect. He is our Lord and Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Divinely orchestrated by God. Amen. Being 100% man, he lived this life to perfection in obedience to the Father. Amen. And glory to God that he did it. Hallelujah. He done did it. Agape knees. He done did it. Amen. And glory to God for that. But this is what we did. We denied, we denied God. What's your point? Let me finish, amen? What's your point? Let me finish, amen? So check this out. So that first gift, God poured out his soul in the Old Covenant, in the Old Testament. And what did we do? We denied it. So now in the Old Covenant, but now in the New Testament, amen? Say that with me, Old Covenant, but now it's a New Testament, he gave us another gift, amen? And glory to God, his son. Say his name with me, Lord Jesus Christ, amen? And God gave us his body, gift number two now, amen? Hallelujah. Let me ask you something. What do we do with this body? What's your point? Let me finish, amen? <laughs> Praise God. I pray at home, you're saying, let me finish. Amen. Let me finish. Praise God. This is what we did to his body. We killed him. I did that. In John 19, verse 30, he said, When he received the drink, he said, it is finished. With that, he bowed his head and gave up, say with me, his spirit. Say it again, his spirit. Say it with me, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Matthew 27, 51 says, At that moment, the veil of the temple was torn in two. From the top to bottom, the earth quaked and the rocks were split. Glory to God. This, of course, because... We always revert going back to old and we rebuke it in Jesus' name and praise God. That is why we have the anointing of Holy Spirit for we don't go backwards, amen? We don't do that. In Jesus' name, we don't do that. We crucify this flesh, amen? And in, crucif in crucifying this flesh, hallelujah, we worship Lord Jesus. We're thankful, right? We're thankful in seasons of, of turmoil, in seasons of tribulation, in, se in seasons of trial, we don't act like the world acts. Hallelujah. Why? Because a Savior came, and His name is Lord Jesus Christ, and it's through His sacrifice, the perfect one, that we are promised a guarantee that if we stay focused and worship 
a good and perfect father, his presence will overtake us in Jesus' name. Woo, hallelujah. Give God praise, amen. And so we, we see that the veil was torn from top to bottom, right? For God himself to say, no longer am I behind that veil, I now live in anyone who would receive me through the lordship of my perfect lamb, my perfect sacrifice, my beloved son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Say it with me. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. So we know that that took place. Hallelujah. And on that glorious third day, we know what happened, right? So let's be reminded that we denied God. We killed his body. And now we know that we have this resurrection of Lord Jesus Christ, which we just celebrated, hallelujah, on Easter Sunday. Amen. Now, granted to God, I know when I speak to a beloved child of God, when we worship in spirit and truth, we do not need a day. We do not need a moment. We do not need to worship God. It's continuously. Hallelujah. I love, I, I love fellowshipping with God's holy church, with, with the body. Amen. I am a member of Lord Jesus Christ. I am a member of the body of Lord Jesus. Say that with me. I am a member of the body of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And being a member of the body, we are unified in Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit's in charge. He is God Almighty. Amen. And I love this because when you worship and fellowship with brothers and sisters, hallelujah, your relationship with God is first and foremost, meaning not only are you having conversations, fellowship, right, relationship with God 24-7, but you're listening, amen? You're listening to what God says, hallelujah. You know what God does not like, amen? And in his mercy and grace, no judgment on anybody, right? But you even know yourself things that I need to stop doing, right? And guess what? His mercy and his grace, Holy Spirit, his name is Holy Spirit, his grace, right, would just keep on flooding you. Amen? Because all God wants is for you to just keep thanking him. Amen? So we know that we have this resurrection power. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Say it with me. He is alive. Hallelujah. Say it with me. He is risen. Say it with me. He is eternal. Hallelujah. Say it with me. He is glorified. Hallelujah. Say it with me. He is power. Oh, hallelujah. Say it with me. He is Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say it with me. Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Say it again. Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What's your point? Let me finish. Amen. Let me finish. So we go through the three gifts, hallelujah, and I pray that this blesses you, hallelujah, and Holy Spirit gives us a fresh anointing. I keep asking, Father God, change me. Change me, Father. Give me wisdom, amen? So you see that the Old Covenant, Old Testament, God gave himself. In the Old Covenant, New Testament, God gave his son, Lord Jesus Christ, amen? Now in the New Covenant, New Testament, say it with me, who I am, amen, who I am. God gave us his spirit. Amen? Amen? Can you get an amen? Praise God. We know what happened. Praise God. We know what happened because it's already done happened. Right? It's already done did. Amen? We denied God from the very beginning. Denied him. Right? That picture Holy Spirit wanted me to put up because isn't that the way it looks? I don't want it. Right? I don't want it. No. We killed his body. So we wanted nothing to do with his soul. We killed his body. And now we have his spirit. Amen. Now we have his spirit. In Ephesians 4.30 says this. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Woo! Hallelujah. Praise God. You ever try to mail something without a stamp? Does it, go, does, it get any, does it get any further than that? Not really, right? Now here God is saying, Holy Spirit has sealed you for all of eternity. Meaning that when you see Jesus, 
Hallelujah. Say it with me. When I see Jesus, hallelujah, glory to God. When I see Jesus, Holy Spirit says, well done. Amen? Isn't it sweet, the, 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 the relationship of agape? Praise God. Agape. Hallelujah. Oh, his light shines through you like never before. I speak that over you and your beloved, your entire house in Jesus' name. Amen? Because we are one. Hallelujah. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God. Do not quench Holy Spirit, right? If you notice, for the past, I don't know how long we've been speaking on this because Holy Spirit says, my church needs to wake up. Amen? Say it with me. Wake up! My church needs to know. Amen? And so Holy Spirit needs to. Needs to just reinforce. Don't grieve me. Don't quench me. If you're doing something in your body, in your flesh, if it's, if it's perversion, if it's lust, whatever it is, crucify it. Get rid of it. Hallelujah. Ask for help. You know my number. Pastor, the elders, you know. We will go over, lay hands on you, anoint you in oil, and watch that thing, amen, get crucified in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Give God praise, amen. But do not tolerate it. Do not allow this thing to keep on putting oppression on you. Amen? So the question is, right, what are we going to do? Because we denied the very life that God blessed us with from the beginning. Right? We denied it. We denied it. And the very body he blessed us with, we put to death. The very body that came from heaven, born from a virgin, lived perfect, did nothing wrong to anyone. Beloved church family, can we wake up, right? Let, let's get out of our righteousness or being a Christian or all this stuff. Let's just be real, amen? Be real. Because I really believe firmly that we, we use Christianity as, as a label just to be lazy. Let's wake up. There's an accountability, church. Look at what we did to Lord Jesus. Do you not think do you not think that we have to answer? Can I get an amen? Listen, this completely rebukes all this trending stuff, all the emotions, all the spiritualism and everything else. Listen, it's all about Holy Spirit. And Lord Jesus Christ said so. So the question is, is what are we going to do? What's your point? <laughs> Let me finish. Praise God. God give us these three gifts, his life, his death, and his resurrection come through the perfect gift. And yes, I know you know, praise God, for over two years now, we always put this up. Some people don't like it, and I don't care. Because you know why? It's something that we have to face, and we are going to see Lord Jesus Christ eyeball to eyeball. And praise God, he's not going to be in this condition, amen? But you will see the scars. And by the grace of God, this is just a great reminder from Holy Spirit. That look, look upon me, and I will tell you what your worth is. I will show you my glory through you, amen? Say it with me, through me, hallelujah. In John 14, verse 15, 16, says this. And listen to what agape has to say. Here's Lord Jesus Christ crying out, hallelujah, to his children, saying, if you really love me, you will keep and obey my commandments. Amen? Now, the emphasis is on my commandments. Can you say that with me? My commandments. Because see, God himself Amen. God himself fulfilled it all. And now God is speaking. Agape is speaking. Here Lord Jesus Christ saying, now it's time for you to do my commandments. Because remember, he is the culmination. Hallelujah. If you weren't with us last night, Saturday night worship service, I encourage you in the name of Jesus Christ, get into worship with that, with that sermon. Holy Spirit, bless your socks off. Amen. But I encourage you. 
because Christ is the culmination of the law. So he fulfilled that. It's complete. It's done. Say it with me. It is finished. Amen? And when Lord Jesus Christ says that it is finished, is it done? Yes, he done did it. Amen? That's why God asks us these questions. Amen? It's not, it's, I mean, I love making you laugh. Beloved church friend, we love having a great time. Amen? God is in laughter. But the truth is, when I ask you, is your Lord Jesus Christ perfect? Is he perfect? Because mine is. Hallelujah. I know you know. I mean it with all my heart. You mean it with all your heart. Yes, my Lord Jesus is perfect, lacking nothing. Amen? Because it's in that worship, it's in that anointing, where Lord Jesus Christ himself said, I will build upon you. You are mine. You are my body. You are my member of my body. And Holy Spirit's going to bless you. Amen? Hallelujah. You receive that? Amen. Give God praise. Amen? And this is what Lord Jesus Christ said. Number one, Love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And number two, love your neighbor. Amen? Those are the two. Praise God. Agape and overflow. Amen? Who's your neighbor? Say it with me. Everybody. Amen? Everybody. Praise God. I love it. Some of you are doing that. Praise God. Everybody's your neighbor. Amen? Let's continue with the scripture. You will keep and obey my commandments. And when you do this now, all right, when you do this, Say it with me. When I do this, I love God with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. Amen. I love God with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength because when I do that, Holy Spirit is in the overflow within me. Amen. Beloved, beloved church family, I know many of you are praying right now, but look at me when I say this. When I love God with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength, when I love God with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength, right, I know that I am in the anointing because Holy Spirit is the only one that can do that. Can you get an amen? Holy Spirit is the only one that can do that. Right? It's not based on your own righteousness. It's his righteousness. Amen? And when you meditate on his righteousness and Lord Jesus Christ being worthy of all your praise, all the glory, all the honor for all of eternity, Holy Spirit, hallelujah, he's the one. Whoo, glory to God. Not only does the word of God, the written word of God come alive before you, but the word of God is alive in you. And as you speak the word of God, you watch it manifest, amen, before you. Hallelujah. And this is what Lord Jesus Christ says. You do this when you do this, when you keep my commandments, agape, and you love others, amen. Hallelujah. Let me ask you, church family. When you grumble, complain, criticize, judge, judge others, is that showing agape overflowing? Now, see, some of you are having trouble with that because some of you are actually trying to justify doing that. Let me ask you something. Did God do that with you when you called out on him? No. Amen? Did it matter what sins you were doing when you called on the name of Lord Jesus Christ? Did it matter what you were struggling with? No. And that's the same anointing God wants us to cherish that no matter what a soul is going through, I don't judge you. I just want you to know we have a father that loves you. Jesus Christ died for you. Amen. Can I pray with you? Hallelujah. And I will ask the father and he will give you, say with me, another helper. Look at this first word in the description of a helper. Comforter, advocate, intercessor, counselor, strengthener, standby. To be with you, say that last word with me, forever. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God. He is the comforter. So if we go back to Ecclesiastes in the book of wisdom, and we saw and read as far as how the oppressor had power, and he was oppressing the minds of the oppressed because they had no comforter, right? And now here we apply it to the New Covenant Church, amen? Say with me, I am New Covenant Church, hallelujah. That means Jesus Christ is your Lord, amen? Father God gave you Holy Spirit, and now you live a life of worship. You live a life holy and pleasing to God, amen? You sacrifice this flesh, you sacrifice these thoughts, crucify it, right? Crucify it, amen? And you allow Holy Spirit to bless you, because he's the only one good, Amen. Say it with me. With the gooder and gooder. Amen. Hallelujah. The spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive 
and take to its heart because it does not see him or know him, but, say it with me, but you know him because he, the Holy Spirit, remains with you continually and will be, say it with me, in you. Hallelujah. Where? In me. Hallelujah. Say that with me. In me. In you. Hallelujah. What's your point? Let me finish. Amen. <laughs> Philippians 1.5. Because of your partnership in the gospel. What is the gospel? Come on now, beloved church family. Where have you been? Amen. I know you know. Hallelujah. But has Holy Spirit not been rocking our world, giving us life-changing revelation within the Holy of Holies, renewing our mind and how much God loves us through agape, amen, that the gospel, good news, amen, say that with me, good news, his name is Lord Jesus Christ, amen, and Lord Jesus Christ left heaven, hallelujah, come here to earth from a virgin, because Holy Spirit, come on now, Holy Spirit come upon Mary, amen, and guess what, Mary even said, let it be according to your word, hallelujah, what is that, faith, amen, has Holy Spirit not been teaching us as far as the power of the words we speak, the blessings we speak? Hallelujah. Has Holy Spirit not taken us back to the time of when God created this world and said, let there be light, and how he was already waiting for Jesus? Hallelujah. And glory to God, this is exactly what happened in your very being. Amen. Soul, spirit, and body. Hallelujah. And this is where God wants to take us right now. Amen. Because listen. Because of your partnership in the gospel. Last time I checked, when the word of God says partnership, that means we are one. Well, pastor, how can that be? Because you just talked about the gospel. You just spoke about the gospel of our salvation that only comes through the gospel of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You're absolutely right. Amen. He is the only way, the truth, and life. John 14, 6 says, he is the son of God. Hallelujah. The blood that was shed was the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. But it's the blood of agape, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen? And glory to God, you read in the word, he yielded, he gave up his spirit. Hallelujah, say his name, Holy Spirit. Right? And it's in this anointing that we are partners in the gospel because now through Christ and only through Lord Jesus Christ, when we submit and we give our life to Lord Jesus Christ, Hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ says to the Father, mine. And now the gospel of peace rests on you, rests on me. Amen. Say with me, the gospel of peace. Hallelujah. And this is how we partner with God. We are sons, daughters of God. Amen. We are citizens of heaven. Say with me, I am a beloved child of God. Hallelujah. Say it with all your heart. Thank you, church family. Amen. I am a beloved child of God. Amen. Being confident of this. Now, let's back up. Are you confident? Whew, hallelujah. Amen. Holy Spirit brought that word not too long ago. Amen. Are we confident? Do we have confidence? Amen. Do we have confidence? Amen. Pull up Tuesday night worship service. Hallelujah. Lesson 13. Praise God. In faith. Are we confident in Lord Jesus Christ? Amen. Remember, who is our faith? Hallelujah. You beat me to it. Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Who is grace? Who is the grace of God? Who is he? Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Being confident of this, that he who began, check this out, church family. He who began a good work. Where? In you. Hallelujah. Say it with me. In me. Amen. In you. Say it with me. In me. Hallelujah. He who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Until that trumpet goes off. Hallelujah. In the next half an hour we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. He is alive. He is risen. He is eternal. He is glorified. He is power. He is Lord Jesus Christ. Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. So what's your point? Let me finish. Amen. All this is great. All this is fine. Yes, we celebrated this. Hallelujah. There's one thing missing. Say it with me. 
in me. In me. Hallelujah. What's your point? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let me finish. Amen. Ain't that the truth? Hallelujah. What's your point? Hallelujah. I pray that this message bless your socks off in Jesus' name. We have to keep in mind as far as the gift that Lord Jesus Christ paid for in full. Amen. It doesn't take much, but I'm so thankful that Holy Spirit would not only give us the word in the written word, he is the living word inside of us. Hallelujah. He is our advocate. He is our comforter. Amen, church. Praise God. He is our God. Amen. And Holy Spirit blesses us with only what the Father says. He never says anything on his own. And guess what? Everything that the Father says, hallelujah, is confirmed by and through the Word of God. Amen. And the Word of God is simple. It's, it's clear. God loves you. That's why he gave you Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ loves you, forgave you. That's why he went to the cross and took upon all of our sins. Amen. Past, present, and future. Now, when I say that future, it doesn't mean that you have grace like a credit card, that you can just live any way you want to live. See, that right now is what's being taught in a lot of trending religions and messages. That's not what it is. It's by his righteousness that we are forgiven. But when you meditate on his righteousness, hallelujah, say his name, Lord Jesus Christ. When you meditate in Lord Jesus Christ and worship him, the anointing, hallelujah, say it with me, beloved church family, anointing. Holy Spirit in you will stir, hallelujah, will flow. We love to say overflow. And in, in his presence overflowing within your heart, as you worship God Almighty, he will get rid of things. He will put out things that don't belong, that are distractions. Amen? And he'll shut that door. And his anointing will overflow in such a way as you worship Lord Jesus Christ and give thanks unto him. If you choose to rejoice, hallelujah, if you choose to be happy, hallelujah, oh my goodness, I choose to be happy. What about you? Amen. And when you choose this, this is the beauty of our God. Amen. When you choose in faith, who is our faith? When you choose in Lord Jesus Christ, that no matter what, I rejoice and I speak life, God says, so be it. Amen. So be it. That's my beloved child. I have gone before you and what you have spoken has already manifested in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Let's be reminded as far as what took place in the Old Covenant, Old Testament, how we denied God, right? As a, as, as a people, tribe, nation, however you want to put it, right? We denied God, right? And then what took place? New Testament, Old Covenant, but New Testament. There's a new testimony now. That's why it took place right there. Matthew, right? After Malachi. Malachi, the last book of the Old Testament, the last word is curse. And then it starts, hallelujah, in the Gospels. And we're right there in Matthew. You could you just, just, just meditate. Remember, we don't try to get up in here. We trust in God Almighty. But you look at the New Testament, because now there's a, hallelujah, there's a new story now. New Testament, but yet it's still the Old Covenant. And here is God himself, agape, wrapped in the skin. His name is, say it with me, church, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And here's Lord Jesus Christ saying, rejoice. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, is near. Introducing us to get ready. Because when I destroy this temple and rebuild it in three days, amen? Father, Son, Holy Spirit, when I rebuild it, it's no longer going to be a building. It's going to be you when you receive me, amen? Do you receive Lord Jesus Christ today? I pray that you do, amen? And we're going to close with the prayer of salvation just to bless Holy Spirit because he asked us to, amen? But I pray that this message bless you, amen? What's your point? Let me finish. God charged us through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Holy Spirit in you and in me is going to do a perfect work. Let us continue running the race. Amen. Let us keep fighting this good fight. Hallelujah. Because just because Lord Jesus Christ said it is finished. Hallelujah. The beauty is we now 
Say it with me, I am. I am a beloved child of God. And whatever Holy Spirit asks me to do, guess what? In obedience, we're going to do it. Amen? Hallelujah. I pray that this blesses you. I miss you, church family. I love you guys so much. I thank God for it. Every one of you, we pray for you. Trish and I pray for you all the time, every day, more than every day. I know you know that. And I thank God for your prayers. Hallelujah. All this is behind us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Oh, I cannot wait. Amen. That we're all just physically together, hugging, kissing one another, blessing one another. Praise God. And just, just, just once again, just Holy Spirit anointing, just flowing. Amen. But until then, praise God, let us just get intimate with Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Let's rejoice, amen. Let's thank God. Let's thank God for this time. Thank God for this time, amen. Thank God that we get to just get real intimate with Lord Jesus. Bless Holy Spirit and allow his light to shine, amen. And I thank you all for blessing God with your offering, hallelujah. I thank God for blessing, blessing you in the overflow with seeds to sow. We know that it's all God's money. You cannot... Outgive our Heavenly Father. Amen. Look at what Lord Jesus Christ did. Look at the offering of God. Amen. And I just thank you so much for your heart of worship through your giving. Amen. And if you want to give, I know you hear me say it over and over again, but I just need to be obedient. Can you say it with me? Be obedient, Pastor. I need to be obedient, Holy Spirit. And we don't want to rob any worship of God. Amen. And praise God, if you want to give, you can give electronically and it's secure at oacchurch.com. That's oacchurch.com. And once again, we just want to say thank you so much. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for Lord Jesus Christ, your perfect sacrifice. And Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you for all of eternity. We worship you, Father. We are your church. We are your body, Lord. And Lord Jesus Christ, we know right now that you're seated at the throne and you're looking at the Father going, look, that's why I went. That's why I saved him, Father. Look, they're, they're worshiping you. And it's only through your name, Lord Jesus Christ. And as we do that, Holy Spirit, you are grace. And Holy Spirit, we bless your presence and we thank you for your presence. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for your wisdom. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for your blood. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for your living word through us. And we thank you, Holy Spirit, that you go before us. Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for blessing all those that bless you with an offering. And bless those, Father, that can't. Because, Father, you know our hearts, and we thank you, Father, for that. And, Father, we thank you once again that all your angels are around us, fighting for us, protecting us. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that through your blood and your blood alone, Lord Jesus Christ, that you protect us, you've anointed us. And we thank you that through the anointing, that, Father God, you have extinguished every fiery dart, that you've destroyed the plots of the enemy. And, Father, I just thank you once again. I thank you once again, Father, for the souls right now that are just praying with us. Beloved church family, I ask you to pray this with me as we close. Say this with me. Heavenly Father, I repent and ask for you to forgive me of everything I've said, done, whatever displeased you. I plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, as I ask for your forgiveness, I ask you, Holy Spirit, to bless me with a fresh anointing. And all I know to do is to say, Jesus Christ is Lord. We thank you, Father. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise. And it's in Jesus' name. And all God's beloved said, amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. I miss you, church family. Love you all. Have a, have a beautiful Sunday. Praise God. God bless you. Let's be a blessing to the Lord first. Amen. And just watch what Holy Spirit will do through us. Amen. God bless you guys. I love you. I'll see you Tuesday night. I am recovered unless we see each other in the next half an hour. Amen. God is good all the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Love you guys. God bless you. Mwah.